Hey there everybody, it's That Forgotten Guy here, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. It's cold, so let's just get back in the sea truck and continue our adventure to try to find the jellyfish again. Now, I don't love a lot of the shit that I'm finding in these areas. This looks like the purple vents again. Oh, what is that? Is that the rest of the ship? Holy shit, I found it. Wait. Why do I get the sneaking feeling that, um... Those fucking lobster things are gonna be here, though? Like, why do I have that concern? M37. What the fuck is M37? Where am I? Crystal Caves is 400 meters away. How did I not encounter this before? I was here. What the fuck is that? Hey, fuck off. Okay, one thing at a time. Let's figure out how to get inside this fucking thing. I'm assuming this is the lost ship that was just added in the update. I don't know what the fuck that thing is. I'm gonna scan it. Why not? What could go wrong? What are you? You look largely fucking deadly. Okay, I'm assuming that that's one of the jellyfish then. Power cell, fuck yeah. Gonna need those soon. Sealed door cut to access. What are you? Spinefish! I didn't think these guys were in this game. That's kinda cool. Battery. That doesn't go anywhere. Ow. Um. Jesus. This is some creepy shit. All things considered. There doesn't appear to be much in here to actually find, though. Like, there's lots of containers, but they don't contain anything that I desperately need. They contain batteries and shit. Which, considering I could have easily missed this place, maybe that's fair, but... Alright, let's head back to the sea truck, get air, and then there was a staircase back here, which I think might lead to more of the ship. Oh, definitely. Definitely. But I can't get the sea truck in here. It's just too small. Like, the area is too small. Oh, I didn't get all my air. Hold on. Might as well get all my fucking air. Use the sea glide just to maximize the amount of distance I can cover. What is this? Laser cutter fragment! Fuck yeah! Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Is 
There's oxygen plants and stuff further in, but I need the laser cutter to get through the door. If I found more of the laser cutter... Hey, look, more of the laser cutter! <laughs> that works out! Alright, I'll be making the laser cutter and coming back. Hold on. I want to pick that up and fucking chug it. And then I'll pick my flares up and just fucking get rid of them at some point. Because they're goddamn useless anyway. Jesus. Yeah, I definitely need to come back with the laser cutter. I just don't know how to get here with the laser cutter once I make it. Because I'll never be able to find this again. I already had a hard time finding it once for fuck's sakes. Let's get in the truck. Let's get out the truck for a second. I want to go underneath it here. Because I saw that there was a spot where it looked like there was a... Oh. Good thing I have like 400 fucking batteries now. There was a spot here where it looked like it had burned through, but it... Yeah, there's nothing. It was worth a look, though. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is leave the sea truck here. I don't even know what that biome is. Also, I feel like there's more of that ship that's missing, but... What was that? What is that? Is it just a texture? It's just a fucked up texture, okay. Alright. We're heading back. I'm basically going to build the laser cutter and then come back and use it to access the rest of the ship. Unless I'm missing components, in which case I will have to go component hunting. But that's okay. I actually wasn't expecting to bump into the ship. In fact, I thought I had already found it. But um, apparently not. It is kind of dangerous that I have to go back through an area where these fucking things are. But they're pretty easy to avoid with the sea glide. Oxygen. Oh yeah, I forgot I need air though. That is a thing I need. So, I think I'm going to need to build a habitat just so I can build a modification station to modify my sea truck. Because I need the ability to go deeper, basically. That's what I need. I need to be able to get as far as possible, but ideally I need to get my sea truck down to like, well, beyond 400 meters, down into that like crystal cave that I have marked with my beacon. I should see about making a beacon while I'm here. Why did I stop short? Just because, um, if I had a beacon, I could mark the lost ship. Although there may not be anything to mark, but it might be useful to mark it just in case. Okay, I have two fucking habitat builders for some goddamn reason. Personnel, equipment, mineral detector only had one fucking component, really? So laser cutter, I just need... Oh, uh, I don't have diamonds, do I? No, why the fuck would I have diamonds? Why did I think it required magnetite? A 
silicone rubber and a bladder fish. <laughs> Cutting device suitable for penetrating standard titanium doors. The problem is, I have, or can get, easily, crystalline sulfur. I don't have any on me, but it's easy to get. What I can't fucking get is diamonds. I don't even know where they would occur. I mean, probably deep, if I had to guess. Let's get rid of those fucking flares. Like, I don't even know. Hmm. Without the laser cutter, I won't be able to get any further into the siege, into the thingy. The only alternative, I guess I could quickly see if I have the blueprint for the beacon. I should. I had a fucking beacon on me at one point. I do. Oh, just copper? Really? That's easy. Uh, give me one of these. Alright, that's the solution then. We'll go back with a beacon until I have the resources to find a fucking... To find diamonds. to Because I assume diamonds are going to be deep under the surface like they were last time. Like in the other game. I'm not 100% sure where. Maybe in this biome? I don't know how far I want to dive. I mean, I guess I have lots of air and I've got a sea glide. Let's tempt fate. Let's surface. And let's dive all the way down. Look for diamonds. In the absolute fucking depths of the cave. Sea glide bits? I don't really need those. I keep forgetting that these give me air. Now, I need to be deeper. I'm only at 120 meters. Let's grab that air plant there, and then just do a nose dive, and head right to the bottom. Because I assume that's where I'm going to find diamonds, if I can find them in this biome at all. Like, I believe through here there was a squid shark before, but there's... it goes down quite a ways here. So let's explore down here a bit. Nah, shut up. this storage module oh fuck yeah now oh, god damn it okay that thing can actually fit through some pretty goddamn tight spaces i'm kind of surprised however if it keeps following me i can just keep leading it into different corners is this the other storage fabricator that's even better i don't actually know if it's better all right so if i could get one of either of them now <gasps> that's diamonds give me that Okay, so there's diamonds down here. But I only have 78 seconds of oxygen. Although I'll grab this air and that'll give me 30 more. <gasps> Fabricator. Fuck yeah. Completed. I like that the picture is the sea moth. Good work, guys. Top notch work, Unknown World. Ow! What the fuck is that thing? What in the fresh hell?
Oh my. That thing can go fuck itself. Okay, I need to... I need to pay fairly close attention and watch out for those goddamn things. Oh my god, that's even worse. Get off me, motherfucker. Let me get away from that fucking thing. And its friends. What's that? Oh, diamonds? Perfect. Do I have a med kit on me? No. Okay, the game's locked up. Come on, game. I need you to recover so I can not die down here. I want to see if I can find the other storage module chunk down here before I leave, but I don't have a lot of air left. Ooh, please be storage. That's Fabricator. There's another diamond. I'll grab that while I'm here. I can't. Let me eat a snack first, then grab one. Uh, let's see if I can find an oxygen plant down here. Hey, look, an oxygen plant. Hey, look, another diamond. I can't have it because my inventory is fucking full. Hmm. What can I drop? Fucking titanium, because I have ten bajillion of them. And I know that diamonds I will need for fucking enameled glass. Alright, there's loads of diamonds down here. I don't need to grab any more, I guess. I think that's lithium on that wall. I could use some fucking oxygen, though. Hey, look, oxygen. Oxygyne. Alright, let's start working my way up higher. That looks like an oxygyne plant. And I haven't already used it, which is good. What's this? Fabricator. Damn it all. See, because storage is what I fucking need. Storage could actually solve some of my fucking problems. I don't know where that squid shark is, but we'll deal with that one when we come to it. Um, holy fuck, that's a squid shark. Off, motherfucker. Storage. Let's get the fuck out of here. Grab this oxygyne plant and leave. That should give me enough equipment to build the laser cutter and cut my way into the old ship. That sounds like a brute shark. That was close. I mean, luckily the sea glide gives me that little edge for speed where I can stay out in front of most things. Seek fluid intake. Um, okay, will do. Let me make a laser cutter first because I just don't have enough fucking... Oh, I don't have a goddamn sulfur though. Alright, what would I need to make a... What's his tits module over here? The storage module. Storage? Oh, of course, a wiring kit. So they all need lead and they all need plasteel. 
And then it's just a matter of what they actually need other than that to make them. Except the aquarium, which instead of lead needs enameled glass. I definitely don't have enough silver to make a fucking wiring kit, so I'm toast. I would have to go digging for silver, and I don't even know where I would look. I mean, I have an idea, but it's a bad idea. So, I don't need to have two of these with fucking no battery. In, well, one of them with no battery. One of them has a battery, I guess, but... Um, let's go out here and catch a bladder fish, if I can find one. Hey, look, a bladder fish. Come here, motherfucker. Gotta make you into water. I'm just gonna swim over to where I found that cave sulfur before. And grab the cave sulfur. Or grab the crystalline sulfur. Vital signs stabilizing. Med kit, there we go. I can make two, perfect, that's even better. That's probably good enough. I might automatically heal if my health is high enough and I avoid taking fucking damage. I don't know that for sure. I might be talking on my ass, but I just need to find a couple more bladder fish relatively nearby my um, relatively nearby my life pod. My sea glide's getting low on battery power, but I have lots of batteries. The one time I have fucking batteries is the time I don't need them. Come here, you little fucker. I need you. Very full. Okay. Let's make some water. Hey. That's not water. That's water. All right. Back over to the sea truck. Or no, not over the sea truck, this way. No, wait, the beacon. The beacon will take me to where I need to be. I need cave sulfur. That way, I can make the laser cutter. I can cut my way into the rest of the ship. I can at least explore the rest of the lost ship. And then I can work on... figuring out where the fuck I'm supposed to go. I think what I need to do next is build a habitat, even if it's a temporary one, just to... Um, chance of gold chance of copper. None of these are the one I need. This is the one I need, I think. Silver. Magnetite. Inventory full, of course. That's enough for a wiring kit. Gotta have, I was gonna say, I gotta have one fucking battery that's got power left in it, Jesus. 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. I 
I believe there was crystalline sulfur in some of the trenches and stuff on this in this area. I remember seeing it. Pretty sure I remember seeing it. Water checker, Madu. Don't have a lot of air. I'm in the tunnel underneath the fucking lobster somewhere. Oh, right there. Good to know. Let's get away from the fucking lobster. Before it fucking kills me dead. Aha, that's what I wanted right there. Alright, time to fuck back off. Those fucking things, I know I said they re remind me of the sea dragon leviathan, but you know what they really kind of remind me of? The way the game uses them? Reminds me of the uh, bone shark, actually. That thing reminds me of the fucking reaper leviathan, though. Like, not in a good way. The rock puncher is cool. I don't think they serve any purpose, but... They're cool. These vents don't appear to be all that hot, which is nice. Those purple ones are bad, though. Get a laser cutter. We'll cut some fucking doors open. We'll find some goodies, hopefully. I would love a sea truck depth module. That'd help. I do still hate that the sea truck is literally the only alternative as far as like a vehicle that has propulsion. Because I did prefer the Seamoth and the Cyclops. Although, maybe I'll change my mind. I don't really think I'm getting a lot of mileage out of the Sea Truck yet. But, um... Can I have one, please? Okay. Laser. cool. That doesn't help me a lot, but I still have a lot of shit on me I don't need. Like, fucking magnetite. Oh yeah, what did I need for the damn storage module? While I'm fucking standing right here, now that I have enough silver for a wiring kit, what else did I need? Lead, which I don't have enough of. But that's fine. We're headed to the sea truck next. We'll poke around and see if I can find lead on the way. I feel like that won't be the case, but hey, who knows? These are copper. It's cool that it tells you what they are, but the fun part of the first game was not having a fucking clue and just having to like brute force learn some of the shit. I, I don't know. I feel like this game... And maybe it's just because I played the first one and I really loved the first one. But... I don't know. It feels like this game goes a lot easier on you than the first one did.
The brute sharks don't worry me while I have the sea glide, just because. Because I'm faster than they are with it. Lead. I just need one more of those. I don't need any more fucking titanium. I don't need that. Ah, eh, fuck it, it can stay, whatever. If I actually find something I need, I'll drop titanium. Fuck. I need lead, man. I need one more fucking lead. What's this? Already scanned it. Cool. Don't know what it is. That doesn't really help me. When I try to scan something and I've already scanned it. What the fuck is this? Sea truck. Okay, cool. Is that also sea truck bits? Yeah. I have 15 seconds of air. Silver is good. I like silver. It helps, but I kind of need lead. Inventory full. Get the fuck out of my inventory, titanium. I need silver and lead. And magnetite. That's a volcanic vent down there. That's fucking scary. I have enough inventory slots for one more lead, so I'm not picking up anything else unless it's lead. <laughs> chance of silver, no, I need chance of lead. Hate that sound. I'm coming, sea truck. I'm coming. Um, it's 70 meters. I'm going for it. Haha. -ha. Fuck you. Alright, let's quickly see if I can find some fucking lead. Actually, fuck lead. Let me just get all the air I can possibly have, because I have to fucking piss around with cutting through a door. Which is an easier task than it sounds, or a harder task than it sounds like it needs to be. Presumably the engine room. Power cell is good. Oxygyne plant. Yeah, why not?
Battery. Okay. Drop the fucking titanium, because fuck titanium. It's not like I don't... I like that I dropped it on the battery I was trying to take. Presumably this door is the other door I attempted to get through. That area looks familiar. Oh Jesus, vents too. This seems like a good way for me to get trapped in this goddamn ship, but that's okay. I'm willing to take that chance just to see what I can find. Another power cell. What's this? More goodies. Oh, that's where my fucking sea truck is. Okay. Hold on. Let's, um... I mean, I guess I could deploy my beacon. I think this thing is called the Lost Ship. They mentioned it in the update. Now then. Hopefully the oxygen plants have oxygen again. Or this is gonna suck. Oh, thank fuck. I believe there was another oxygen plant somewhere around here. Where the fuck am I now? Ah, uh, here we go, okay. Yeah, there was another oxygen plant over here. I believe there was more over this way. Yeah, there's one. They seem to get their oxygen back pretty fast. It might even be possible to daisy chain them together and just basically have infinite air. Because they give you 30 seconds. But... They deploy in less than 30 seconds, I believe. Let's see, this one should deploy before I get to 60. Yeah. And then this other one should deploy pretty much as soon as I get to it. <laughs> Wait, what? I can replenish my oxygen at a plant that's not up? Really? It must have been really close, I see. Okay. Anyway, I'm back up to a full tank of oxygen, so let's go through the floor and look around. Because why the fuck not? Uh, I feel like I've been in this area, actually. Yeah, I think I have. Alright. Fine. Let's get some oxygen. Can I cut this door? Probably not. No, it's just to toast. Uh, there's more oxygen. Let's grab it quick.
cut to open, really? Can I use this to cut? Reactor rod. Oh. Oh, that's kind of cool that I can take the item just by aiming there. Let's take that reactor rod just to say I had a reactor rod. I don't think there's anything else here for me to find. What the fuck is going on over there? I don't think there's anything else for me to find in there. Used to power nuclear reactors. I don't have a nuclear reactor. But it'd be cool if I could get one. So let's investigate this biome. Also, let's investigate that fucking thing right there. Arrow ray. Uh, you seem fu oh fuck me. Those things are harmless. That thing is not. That thing's kind of a cunt too. can't really dive any further. Oh god, there's more of them out here? Oh my god. Hate that. I feel like this is ecological dead zone. I'm trying to figure this out now. Head into the surface. I think I'm out way too far. I am. This area is kind of nightmarish and depressing. I feel like I've been here maybe before. In fact, I feel like those jellyfish things were here. Although I did see them in that other area, but that's definitely dead zone. And I encountered them along the wall. I'm virtually 100% sure that I encountered them along the wall. Because I was pretty sure that was a cave that I found. Not just a spot where they was they were just fucking hanging out. And yet, I don't... I might be too far. I don't know where I am in relation to anything right now. That's dead zone. Okay. Hey, 
I guess we'll cruise along the wall here and see what we can find. Getting low on power, but I have extra power cells on me. Trying to find those goddamn jellyfish again just because I want to know if there was anything to that area or if there was literally just a bunch of them there. For no fucking reason. But I don't even know where that was. I just know it was along a wall. I think this wall. Somewhere. I'm gonna probably run out of power in my fucking sea truck before I find that spot though. I also need to do some repairs apparently. Oh! It's a jelly. It's a lot of jellies. Wow. Oh, it's basically 150. I can't get a fucking sea truck down here. That's a lot. Holy shit. don't have a lot of power left but let's just see if we can figure out where this goes if anywhere maybe nowhere oh no it looks like it definitely goes somewhere but I only have 125 seconds of oxygen so I don't know if I can make it Especially because I don't know where the fuck it goes. I'm below 200 meters right now. If I get trapped under here, I'm fucked. Yeah, it goes somewhere. I don't know where. I can't find a path through. But I bet there is one. find my way out and then I'll bank right here and try to get back to my sea truck before I run out of fucking air I got 66 seconds I need to go 200 meters I'm almost sure that there's probably something down there but I, without being able to take the sea truck in I'd never have enough air to do it without a bigger tank which I don't have although I could establish a base nearby here build the modification station and then Um, and then just unconstruct the base but I don't have any titanium on me anymore because <laughs> I used it all let's head back to the life pod for now And then, I think in the next episode, probably, I will build some kind of a habitat, even if it's like the bare minimum, just to have a modification station so that I can, uh, so I can have a depth upgrade if I can make one. I don't know if I have to find the blueprint for that. What I will do when I get back, though, is I will try to build the storage module for this thing. burning power fast just because I'm trying to get back fairly quickly I don't know if there's like an afterburner recharge speed that'd be cool 
Something that makes the afterburner recharge faster, like what the prawn suit had for its jump boost thing. Perfect, I have 1% power. Let me get out, find my fucking repair tool. There it is. Repair this motherfucker. Trying to kill that power cell dead. I know how I can kill it. I don't even have enough power to kill it with uh, boost. I'm not allowed. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it just dies. Okay. Perfect. I parked nowhere near where I would be obstructing this. All right. What do I need for this again? Lead. I never found enough lead. Motherfucker. I don't think I have enough time to even find goddamn lead. But I'm going to try just to say I did. Chance of silver, chance of gold. I need chance of lead. What's this? Oh, nothing. What's this? Sea glide. I don't give a fuck about the sea glide. I have a fucking sea glide. This is my sea glide. I'm basically at the end of the episode. <laughs> um, so what I'll do is I'll end it here. And then... Oh, shit. There goes my fucking last battery. Well, then. Chance of lead? God damn it. <laughs> In the next episode, I will probably have the last piece of lead that I need. And we will make the storage module and then go and make a base somewhere. Lead! Oh, fuck. My inventory is full. Um... Shit. I mean, I guess fuck this piece of lithium in exchange for lead. All right. So now that I've got what I need, fuck off, sea monkey. Um, yeah, I've got what I need for the next episode. So I'm going to head back to the life pod. But uh, until next time, I will see all of you in the future.